Dr. Andrew Yun over at St. John's, and I thought we'd spend a few moments talking about infection. So, a patient comes into the office, and infection is probably one of the most frightening things on their mind, and so I thought it's appropriate that we talk deeply about it for a little while. Um, just in terms of scope, infection is actually a smaller problem than most people think. It's less than 1% according to the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, which really means that over 99% of patients will not have a problem with infection. And I think that's just important for people to be aware of. Still, uh, it is a potentially devastating complication for the unfortunate ones that do get an infection. And the most common organism is Staph aureus. Now, fortunately, at our institution, the rate of infection is 10 times lower than that, less than one in a thousand. And I think it's because our philosophy is that the best treatment is prevention. Minimizing risk or minimizing the risk of infection really is a process and it begins even before a patient comes to the hospital. Really the best defense against bacteria is a healthy body. And so we ask our patients to consider stopping smoking, really taking good control of their weight and their diabetes and taking care of any cavities or mouth problems that they have. Now, as we get closer to the day of surgery, we will actually be very deliberate and intentional about reducing bacterial counts. We will have our patient put a mucorosin ointment to the nose twice a day five days prior to surgery. And that's because most of the bacteria, especially staph, is held in the nose. And so we'd like to decontaminate that area. And then the morning and the night of surgery, we have patients actually take a shower with a special antibacterial wash to completely cleanse the outer surface of bacteria. So that patient is coming in in the best possible health and with already a decontamination protocol. Then we begin stage two in the hospital, even before we get to the operating room, we'll do three things. We will have a patient do an antibacterial wipe with chlorhexidine. This is a very potent antibacterial chemical that they will completely wash themselves with. And then we will then do an iodine swab to the nose in addition to the mucorosin that the patient had done at home. Uh, and then finally, we will do our first surgical prep of the leg using an antiseptic solution in the preoperative area. Okay. Now, once we get into the operating room, we start a whole new layer of protections against, against bacteria. The, the first thing that we do is we will use a chlorhexidine and alcohol prep to decontaminate a leg the third time. We'll use betadine which is very potent in terms of reducing bacterial counts. We'll put that film over the leg and then we'll have that patient start on anti IV antibiotics. Before the surgery begins, we'll actually put on what's called a spacesuit. Um, and it, it's, it just looks like this. I'll put it on for us. What this does is this will go on over my head like this. And this will create a barrier between me and the patient and the patient and me and so his bacteria stay on him and my bacteria are completely away from him and everybody in the OR has these personal decontamination units or these personal space suits really to minimize the risk of any type of bacterial spread and then finally we'll give the patient IV antibiotics at the time of surgery We'll use antibiotics in a sterile irrigation fluid. And for total knee patients, we'll actually put antibiotic into the cement that holds the knee in place. So several different mechanisms in surgery. The process continues after surgery when a patient goes home or when a patient goes up to the floor, we have the patient continue on IV antibiotics for a total of 24 hours. We send our patients to a designated orthopedic floor. So these are only total joint patients and we don't mix them in with patients who have had bowel or bladder surgery, gut surgery, or patients who have come in through the ER with pneumonia or other infections. That's a separate wing of the hospital. This is an orthopedic floor specifically for joint replacement patients. 
We do sterile wound care with an impermeable dressing made specifically for joint replacement. And then we also mobilize that patient very early so they can have a short hospital stay. And oftentimes that patient is home back in their own environment within 24 hours. So it's a very comprehensive program and we appreciate that we can not eliminate risk, but we take several steps along several different points to make sure we can minimize that risk to the extent possible. Thanks.